Gru meets Tarzan in July of 2021. What can we expect? Hi, I'm Darren. These are my hands, and this is GruTube, where we appreciate the art of Aragonese. Not too long from now, Dark Horse Comics will publish Gru Meets Tarzan, the first new Gru from Sergio Aragonese since 2017. That's almost four years since the Play of the Gods miniseries. And I'm probably as excited as you are to see how Sergio and Mark contrive to bring Gru the Wanderer and Tarzan together. Today we're going to explore what we know about the Gru Meets Tarzan miniseries and maybe take a guess at what we can expect. While we Gru fans have known that Gru Meets Tarzan has been in the works for a long time, let's start with the Dark Horse website announcement from May 7th, 2021, and I'll throw in some comments as we read. The infamous Gru the Wanderer returns in crossover comic Gru Meets Tarzan. Gru the Wanderer returns with some new friends. From renowned creators Sergio Aragonez, Mark Evanier, and Thomas Yates, along with colors from Tom Luth and letters by Stan Sakai, comes the fun meta crossover comic Gru Meets Tarzan. Okay, Thomas Yates is back drawing with Sergio, so we can expect the crossover art style to be similar to the Aragonese Yates collaboration on Gru vs. Conan, with Sergio's Gru and Yates Tarzan drawings occupying the same pages and frames throughout the comic. Also, Tom Luth and Stan Sakai will be coloring and lettering, which will be great to see, especially after not having Stan letter the Gru Conan crossover and Tom not being able to color that whole series either. The team behind the hit Gru the Wanderer become characters in their own creation while attending Comic Con. Soon the comic versions of themselves find inspiration not only in their enthusiastic fans, but in their fellow creators too, especially those working on Tarzan comics. Sergio Aragonez finds a way to introduce the two characters to each other. Okay, some hints at how the story will work. While the Gru vs. Conan crossover took place within Sergio's head, I expect Sergio and Mark won't resort to the same trick again. Tarzan, the Lord of the Jungle, is set on a path that will lead him to Gru, the master of cheese dip, and the world of comics will never be the same. In addition to the fantastical main story, the Referto backup strips return. It does sound like with Sergio and Mark as characters in the comic that there may be twin storylines in both the real world of Comic-Con and the Tarzan and Gru comic universes. And Referto strips too. Here's a quote from Sergio. And from Mark Evanier, a couple more nuggets here. Pirates and dinosaurs. What pirates? Finishing off the release, The Joy, Humor, and Delight of Gru Meets Tarzan, issue number 104, arrives July 1st, 2021, and is available for pre-order now through your local comic shop. Okay, Gru fans, don't worry, that date has changed. The publication date is now July 28th for issue number one of Gru Meets Tarzan. Since that Dark Horse release, the dates for other issues have been announced. Issue number two, Wednesday, August 25th. Issue number three, Wednesday, September 29th. And as I record this video, the date for issue number four has not been published, but it's safe to assume expect issue number four on October 27th. Prices will be $3.99 US, and it's a 32-page full-color book. Three covers have also been previewed, and we have seen some in various stages of ink, color, and title block. So what can we discern from them? In the first issue, Tarzan, with knife ready, crouches in a tree above Gru, who is oblivious. Tarzan looks like he's on guard at best, or ready to attack Gru at worst. Referto spies Tarzan above. Hmm... On the cover of issue two, Tarzan appears to be swinging down out of a tree behind Gru, while Gru, Referto, and some monkeys appear to be running away, frightened. 
let me suggest that Gru is not afraid of Tarzan. His sword is out, but he's not battling Tarzan with it. Perhaps everyone is fleeing the stampeding elephant that is crashing through the jungle scene behind them. Looking at the cover of issue number three, Gru brandishes his swords menacingly at a group of armed men. Referto looks back at Tarzan with a snarl as Tarzan holds the mane of a roaring lion with one hand and his other appears to be ready to issue a backhanded slap. An elephant stands with Tarzan and in the background a volcano smokes. Could Gru and Tarzan be working together to thwart a band of poachers here? Perhaps Referto isn't snarling at Tarzan because Tarzan and Gru are enemies. Perhaps Referto feels threatened by Gru's new friend. And the smoking volcano? That suggests to me that the dinosaurs can't be far off in issue number three. And as I record this video, there hasn't been an official release of the cover of issue number four, so no speculation from me. Next, let's hit the blogs and the convention circuit. Mark Evanier, Sergio's creative partner, wordsmith, and what-does-he-even-do kind of guy, has posted a few times on his blog about the Gru-Tarzan crossover, which I'll now begin referring to as Gruzan. In July of 2019, shortly after that year's Comic-Con, Mark mentioned that the publication date for the first issue of the Gruzan crossover should be announced soon. Yep, anytime now. In March of 2020, Mark wrote in his blog about comic book letter pages, and as the Gruzan miniseries would be published that summer, he was soliciting letters to the Gru letter page. I guess they aren't Grugrams anymore. Mark notes that the best letter in each issue will receive an autographed Gru sketch from Sergio. Cool. April of 2021 was the last time Mark wrote about Gru Zan. This time he writes that much of the comic is set at Comic-Con International in San Diego, so you will be able to see a frighteningly accurate vision of what would have happened at that convention if they had it. And breaking news from July 13th, Mark Evanier has posted some previews of the Gru Meets Tarzan comic. Be sure to not follow those links if you're adverse to spoilers. I think I am. I think it's safe to guess that a conflict at Comic-Con that Sergio has to remedy will be the parallel story to the conflict in the gru -Zan universe. In March of 2021... The Gru crew, Sergio, Mark, Tom, and Stan, held a virtual video panel for WonderCon at home. Just a few nuggets pertaining to Gru meets Tarzan from the WonderCon video. Gru is one of the few comics done today where the letterer letters on the page as opposed to digital lettering. So we're glad to know that Stan will be lettering Gru as only Stan can. Sergio speaks to the difficulties of creating crossover comics. Staying true to the characters and maintaining the logical consistency of the individual character's universe. He doesn't give away the mechanism they use to bring Gru and Tarzan together, but alludes to a shared third universe for Gru and Tarzan to inhabit. A hint Sergio does give is the inspiration he took from the Akira Kurosawa film Rashomon, where various characters portray the events of the story in a dishonest way to best reflect themselves. Perhaps the telling of some tall tales will be the device Sergio and Mark use to bring Gru and Tarzan together. As far as the plot for the comic goes, my guess is that even though the covers imply conflict between Gru and Tarzan, my bet is that they will work together against a common foe. Sergio said that Gru meets Tarzan was completely finished before the pandemic began. And also more good news, Gods Against Gru, the final miniseries with Gru and the Gods, is ready to be published after they publish Tarzan. Sergio showed a bunch of original art, but Tom had yet to color it, at least as of March 2021. Finally, Comic-Con at Home is about to, or perhaps has just happened, as this video goes out. 
Sergio, Mark, and Thomas Yates are or have done a panel discussing the Gru Meets Tarzan miniseries, so look out for that. And one last bit of good news, the Gru Meets Tarzan miniseries is going to be compiled into a paperback to be released on March 8th, 2022. Pre-orders are available now. Talk to your local comic book shop. Well, I hope that you have reserved your copies already, Gru friends, or that you'll be able to make it to a shop to buy issue number one on July 28th. I'm curious about your theories on this summer's Gru Tarzan series, so leave a comment below, or if it's the future and you've read it, let me know what you think. Check the description below for lots of links to the videos, blogs, and websites I've referenced today. And make sure you're subscribed and that you've got notifications turned on because I'll be back soon with some more GruTube. And this was all fake. Here, let me make it seem like I have lots of copies already. <laughs>